Hello everyone. Today in this session, we are going to discuss the new topic from Newton laws of motion chapter that is Newton's second law of motion. And after that, we can derive the mathematical expression for Newton's second law of motion. And finally, we can prove the Newton's second law of motion or explain the Newton's second law of motion by one suitable activity. So first, I am going to discuss then explain then students i can perform one activity for the better understanding of the newton second law of motion so let's start students okay suppose students this is one horizontal surface and the horizontal surface is frictionless okay there is no frictional force between the object and the flow we are considering the surface is smooth now the object initially at the point p and we are applying a force capital F and due to this application of force the object gain a velocity u in the direction of the applied force suppose after a certain times later the object reach at the point Q and at this point the velocity of the body is V and the mass will be remain same and the time taken for reach from point P to the point Q will be we can consider T. So now students in, the, in that case we are applying a force F and due to the application of force initial velocity equal to U and after a certain times later say T the object gain a velocity V. So that means initial velocity initial momentum equal to what? Initial momentum momentum equal to mass into initial velocity that means m into u so similarly the final momentum equal to what final momentum equal to mv and now students change in momentum equal to what change in momentum equal to mv minus mu because change means what final minus initial so final momentum is what the product of mass and the final velocity initial momentum means what mass and the product of initial velocity change in momentum means what all the times final minus initial so final momentum is what mv initial momentum is what mu so change in momentum equal to what mv minus mu now students this change in momentum takes place with the time t so now students you can write the rate of change of the rate of change of momentum equal to what students rate of change of momentum equal to mv minus mu by t so now students why this happened why the rate of change of momentum is happened the only due to only one parameter for the applied force so that means students the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the applied force and one thing students and the rate of change of momentum takes place in the direction of the applied force why because you are applying the force this direction and the change in momentum also takes place in the same direction students and these things happen due to applied force so finally we are writing over here F is proportional to mv minus m u by t so now students f equal to what according to the principle of variation proportional sign omit equal sign is come then f equal to k m is taken outside v minus u by t ok students so all of you know the v minus u by t means what acceleration change in velocity by time means what acceleration so v minus u by t is replaced by a so f equal to what K M A. So normally, if you find the force is Newton and M equal to one kg and A equal to one meter per second square, so that moment K equal to what one? So finally, students, the mathematical expression for force is what M into A. And since the force is vector quantity, we can denoted by the vector representation that is the force is vector you can put one arrow symbol and acceleration is also vector quantity 
but mass is a scalar quantity so this is what this is the vector form of newton second law of motion students and one thing students the for now what is the statement of the newton second law of motion previously we are not directly give the what is the statement of newton second law of motion just you feel the situation and after that you can easily give the what is the statement so what is my first approach we are applying a force and due to the application of force what will be happen the change in momentum is happen with respect to time means the rate of change in momentum is happen the entire part is happen or occur due to the applied force so that means students the force and the rate of change of momentum they are directly proportional to each other students so now students just i can write over here the statement so according to newton newton's second law of motion the rate of change of the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to proportional to the to the applied force and students the rate of change of the rate of change of momentum takes place in the direction of the direction and the place in the direction of the applied force okay now students same thing i can write over here we are applying a force and due to the application of force the change in momentum takes place and now students the change in momentum takes place in the direction of the applied force so in newton second law motion the most two important key point is there the first important key point you are applying a force and due to the application of force change of rate of change of momentum will takes place and what is the direction of rate of change of momentum in the direction of the applied force and this is the statement about newton second law of motion and one thing students when you find the mathematical expression for newton second law of motion it is force equal to what mass into acceleration so now students the force is depends on two factor one is the mass and another is the acceleration so that means the greater mass will provide a greater force so now all the things we can fill by one suitable activity so let's start students this activity so this is what students this is one a ball and students this is one this is one kind of a ball by this ball made with paper ball okay so this is a normal object and you can just place over here this object okay so that means students previously i can explain if the object carry lesser mass so that means the force of the object provide on the other object will be less okay so now students this is a smaller object and this made by a paper so we are now applying given some force on this body but instead of that the object is at rest several times in spite of that of the rest so now students we can just provide some least velocity automatically the object has fallen down the reason is what the smaller mass means smaller mass means it is provide the least amount of force on the object so that's why this object carry a small acceleration or tends to zero acceleration so that's why the object is at rest but students this is a bigger object so that means mass increase means what it is provide the greater amount of force on the object so that's why the object carry a greater acceleration and it is automatically following so now students you can see automatically it was following the reason is what we can prove over here 
the expression for force equal to what mass into acceleration if greater the mass greater is the amount of force provided by the body and it is our common experience students suppose the two bodies one is a smaller body and another is the heavier body both the bodies are moving in the same velocity but stop the two bodies in the same times you are provide the greater amount of force on the bigger amount of mass of the body so that's why force and mass they are directly proportional to each other i think you can feel the beauty of the sense of the newton second law of motion by this activity so once again i can repeat all the all the everything so today our topic to explain the phenomenon of newton second law of motion students according to newton second law of motion the second law of motion gives us the idea about the how the force is depends on another quantity force is depends on two quantity one is the mass of the body and another is the acceleration of the body if the body carry a greater velocity so that means students the amount of force acting on the body will be greater so once again students the this is simple case we can take before i going to statement the provide the statement of newton second law of motion so this is one mass of the body m initially the object at the point p and we are providing a force f and due to the application of force the object gain a velocity u and this is the initial velocity after certain times later reach at the point q and gain a velocity b and after that we can simply take the change in momentum and rate of change in momentum and all the things happens due to the applied force and finally we can prove students the mathematical expression for force equal to what mass into acceleration i think students you can enjoy my classes and thank you for very much watching my video classes still no stop